एवरीवन गुड आफ्टरनून एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे इज फिफ्थ ऑफ जनवरी एंड करेंटली इट्स थ्री थर्टी पी एम राइट नाउ आई जस्ट फिनिश माय लंच एंड आई थॉट लेट्स ब्लॉक टुडे बिकॉज इट्स गोना बी क्वाइट एन इवेंटफुल डे टुडे सो टुमारो इज एज इज बर्थडे एंड आई एम प्लानिंग टू डू सम डेकॉर ऑल बाय माई सेल्फ एट होम एंड ऑल्सो बेक आ केक फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन माई लाइफ I hope it comes out well. So stay tuned. I will take you all with me. Also, the COVID cases are going really high again because of the another variant called Omicron. You all are aware of it. In Bangalore, we are already having night night curfew for past ten days, and from this weekend onwards, we'll be having weekend curfew as well. So please stay safe, stay home, and follow all the. measures that will help you from getting affected by covid and without further ado let's get started with the vlog so i have come to the kitchen basically i'll be making i'll be baking the cake with this pillsbury's rich choco oven cake mix i know it's like a cheating method but Come on, I'm planning for the first time, and let's give me a credit because I don't even like cooking. So yeah, I'm super excited. Let's get started. So I just transferred all the mix that was provided in the container, in the packet, into my container, and here they are saying that one second there is too much of traffic noise. Yes, I just shut the door of my balcony, of the kitchen, of my kitchen balcony. So, uh, yeah. Mm, so to make this into this, I need to add three fourth tea cup water, which is one twenty ml. Let's do this. First thing first. So these are basically my measuring cups. I have like some set of seven, which I got from Dima. So there goes the water. I I I love whisking. So in my childhood also, and then when it, when I grew up as well at home, when I used to make omelet, which is the easiest, I used to keep whisking it. Uh, and somebody then told me that the more you whisk, it becomes fluffier. So I was like, "Yay, let's do it!" My mom used to scold me, "Okay, enough. Don't do it further." But then I was like, "No, let me do it. The more you do it, fluffier it becomes." I was like, "Okay, fine." So since then, I love whisking. Mix, 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 mix. Mm. I think I can eat it just like that. I won't, but yeah. The smell is so good, so chocolatey and yum. Mix, 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 mix. I think I'm doing a decent job till now. Adding water and mixing it, but manually though. So yeah. Now what's next? I need to add. One fourth teacup, which is forty ml of vegetable oil. So, at home here, we don't really prefer cooking with vegetable oil. It's not healthy. We always cook either with olive oil or mustard oil. So, I just bought vegetable oil. That's the sunflower oil, I think. Both are same uh, from D Mart. And yeah, let's cut it and use it. I'll have to also find a container for this to transfer because, as I mentioned, we don't really use this kind of oil, and I don't want to get a smaller packet of this kind of oil because we don't usually uh, use it, right? But then Dima didn't have a smaller, like 500 ml ka this thing packet, so I had to get this bigger one. Just a second. Another smaller measuring cup. Okay, so it says 15 ml, and we put 40 ml of it. So two 
two and a half. Again, let's mix, mix, mix. Now that I'm making, I'm, I'm baking the cake all by myself. I'm realizing how much unhealthy stuff goes inside this. It's so unhealthy to eat, but so tasty. Mix, 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 mix. I think once in a while, in moderation, everything is fine. <laughs> given that you're maintaining a healthy lifestyle like you exercise on daily basis and maintain a diet like not like diet diet but maintaining a healthy lifestyle in a regular basis you know like avoid sugar maida which is the refined flour then sweet anything sweet i think i have mentioned already sugar so yeah and fried food any oily stuff mix 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 okay now into this i have to add two eggs Again, mix, mix, mix. Now I'm done with mixing. Hopefully there is no lump left inside the mix. You all can see the mix. Now I need to preheat the oven. Now I need to oil brush the container, grease it with oil or butter, butter. This auto, this one, preset things, okay. So if you see here, you can find cake dough here. Mm. 2.0 under curd dough proof. Hmm. Okay, so click on curd dough, then select next so that you can select two. Hmm. Okay, then click select. Then again here, you select two. Okay. And then you stop. You right click it and stop. That's all. Hmm. You saw that the camera is on, you removed your glasses. It's reflecting, that's fine. Oh, please. So, here in the container, first I have added some milk, a normal toned milk. Into it, I have added the same amount of dark chocolate compound and it's melted and I have to keep stirring it to get a thicker consistency right now you can see this is the consistency but it needs to be way thicker for it to become a chocolate ganache for cake frosting so I need to keep stirring it And once it's ready, I need to add some butter to it and let it cool down for a few minutes. I guess. consistency 
like chocolate lava cake dominoes ka but that is brown is it mm. so after we were done with our baking of course i didn't get to taste it we will cut the cake at 12 that's when i'll get to know about the taste of the cake but the ganache tasted yum so i'm hoping and praying that the whole cake tastes really good okay we'll get to know about it later meanwhile now time is for some decor let's see what you've got here all right so i had ordered this happy birthday uh, by party props decor of 68 pieces which has fall curtains balloons and uh, the happy birthday banner and lot more things so let's open and see I have ordered it in rose gold thin balloon. Uh, I'm guessing these are the big balloons. Mm, the happy birthday banner, foil curtain, two sets of foil curtains. Of course, it's in uh, rose gold. And also, we have got some tape and balloon glue. so yeah to stick it to the wall or the backdrop also i have ordered a manual balloon pumper so that i don't have to blow it through and through i can't do it also so let's get started So finally after 2 hours the decoration is done and I can't wait to show it to you all let me show you and here it is of fun doing this to be honest i was little tired blowing all the balloons because the pumper didn't work so i had to do it by myself but i had super fun doing this please let me know in the comment section below how did you all like it mm -hmm. 